everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for a head shave, I'm going to be using Noble Otter, the Noir et Vanille, which is a sort of strawberry scented tea. It's a really nice scent, nice clean, fresh, almost citrusy gourmand type scent. It's really, really nice. That is the colour of the soap. I find most Noble Otter soaps to be a sort of caramel colour and the labels are beautiful. The scents perform except the scents. The soaps perform exceptionally well. Now hopefully I can get a full head shave on video today without it screwing up on YouTube. I'm going to be using once again. This will be the brush for November, the Samog Owners Club Taj 2018 brush. And this has got a pristinely beautiful white premium bow knot. So straight into the soap. I want this to be a reasonably fast shave. My wife's on her way home from work, she'll be due home anytime soon. And I think we're going to go out and do a little bit of, believe it or not, Christmas shopping. Just giving this quite a good load and then that's me done pretty much. I don't need any more than that. I'm going to be using the head blade today for a change and it's generally a pretty quick shave so let's just wet the head. And this is a no prep shave. Just straight into it. Let's paint this on. A little while since I've used Noble Water, but it's exceptional soap. Some of the best in the business. In fact, at the moment, it's probably still my number one base, just for actual performance properties. Post shave, intra shave, latherability. It's absolutely brilliant. Just dip the tips. Let's do the Freeberg. I don't need a super voluminous lather today for this. I did have a pretty average shave yesterday. So hopefully we'll get a nice, clean, irritation-free shave today using the, the head blade. Just put some more water into the knot. This Michael Friedberg technique really works. He's not the only guy I've seen do it, I think, believe it or not. I think maybe the Suffolk shaver maybe did it that way as well, I can't remember. It really works, it saves. When you dip the brush in the water, I find you lose a bit of the lather every time because the water causes it to just sort of dissipate a little bit just off the tips of the brush. Doing it this way and dropping the water in through the top gets the water quite deep into the knot as well and assists in allowing the lather to flow through a lot easier as well, I find. It just works. I think you can argue with that. That's a beautiful creamy glossy lather. Very very quickly made. The brush is chock-a-block and here we go. So I'm using the Above the Tie Calypso R1 with a vintage persona blade in there just to do around the ears. Now this is a cold water shave like I said before with absolutely zero prep. I do have a little bit of irritation just here from yesterday. So I'm just going to go a little bit easier than normal. Same on this side. I think that's the way home. So 
So let's get this shave blitzed out. So I'm using the head blade moto with the three blade cartridges. It's the only cartridges I've got at the moment. I do need to get some four blades. I find the four blade cartridge the best out of the three, four and six. And here we go, straight against the green. All right, and we're back. Let's just get this blitzed. Do you know something? I'm playing into the shave right now, and it's making me realise how how quick the head blade actually is. Is it quicker than the moto? <laughs> Do you know something? I've got to be honest and say, it, it might be. The only problem is obviously with this cartridge, the three blades, and it clogs up really easily, as it has done here. Right, just going to wet my head again. Yeah, that's pretty much BBS everywhere. Gonna reapply the lather just because I can. Oh yeah, this brush feels incredible now. You can see how high quality this lather is. You know something? I don't know why I used the DE razor as well at the beginning because I know with the head blade I can get around my ears. Right. Just habit from using the the Omni Shaver. I have just filled the sink up with warm water now. The warm water does definitely assist in cleaning out the razor, especially this razor, this cartridge, a lot faster. Well, as much as I really enjoy using the Omni Shaver, I don't think I can shave my head as fast with it as I did with that, even though that was a two-pass shave. The slickness and protection from the soap is exceptional. It's really high quality soap. It's easy to load, it's easy to lather, it smells great. The labels are great, the tubs are a great size. It's very well priced. Definitely, in terms of performance, my number one soap. Which is a hell of a thing to say really giving the quality of soaps out on the market at the moment and I've used pretty much all of them. 
little wee bit just there, it's one that I opened up yesterday. Right, I'm going to put some thayers on, I haven't used thayers in, I have no idea how long. Some peach thayers to go with the strawberry scented tea. And then I'm going to finish off with some ancho. Lovely, lovely burn from Thayer's. Let that dry in. So the soap today was the Noir et Vanille from Noble Otter. Beautiful labels, beautiful soaps. Even the labels around, around the actual tubs themselves. You can see all the ingredients there as well. Just beautiful soap. You can see there where it's sort of... Oh, it smells great. Really smells like strawberry tea. The brush, which will be used for every shave in November this year, is the Samoa Gonas Club 24ml Premium Serta, Premium Bristle Bore. Absolutely stunning knot. It really is. And I love the handle. It's named the Taj Resin because Excuse me, it's meant to resemble the colour of the Taj Mahal in India and I think I've done a beautiful job, it's so elegant, it's so nice, it's not my style of brush really, but it's really grown on me, I love the weight, I love the feel, I love the knot, I think the colours look sensational together, such plain, plain colours, and this little silver band here just sets it apart, stunning. The razors for today were the Above the Tie R1 Calypso and the Headblade Moto with the three blade cartridge and pff, wow I mean that was head shaves don't come much easier than that to be honest they really don't and that's that is pure BBS actually hold on I just missed a little bit there and that's it just had to get that last little bit there beautiful absolutely beautiful that really highlights to me why there's no real need to use a DE razor on your head. These cartridges, I can pick four of them up for about $8 over here in Australia. The four blade cartridges are about 12 or $11, something like that. So I'm gonna pick up some four blades, but just, you got a lot of shaves out of them. And they shave better than a DE, I don't care who you are really. I just find I get a closer, more comfortable, guaranteed, pretty much, irritation free shave. Moved on to the Thea's Peach. And I'm now just going to finish off with a little dab of this just to help my skin repair from yesterday and herb which was very kindly sent over I believe it was Nav M from the channel that, which is the channel that sent this over to me this stuff is exceptional post shave balm got a very med medicinal sort of scent oh missed a bit of hair there as well and offers exceptional slickness for shaving. <laughs> and that's it, done and dusty, that's absorbed. Boom, absolutely brilliant shave. And with that, I shall leave you guys to it. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. Please like, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.